Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with a nation that no one has ever heard of or ever played, the nation of Dundar. Dundar is a nation located in northern India, and I had no idea that these guys existed, let alone that they had unique national ideas, and I only noticed when I played Delhi last week. Dundar is a two province minor we have 13 dev right at the start a hindu kingdom we start off with this 423 guy and our national ideas aren't that bad man we start off with morale land fire damage as an ambition fort defense plus 20 percent is really good actually minus 10 percent dev discount minus five percent tech discount all around a balanced idea set and nothing too strong okay so the fact that no one has ever played this nation may be a hyperbole but i can guarantee you man out of all of the nations with unique national ideas that are on that list that i'm following dundar has got to be in the bottom five of nations played with unique national ideas man i have no idea how we're gonna do this up to our north we have delhi and their two subjects then we have janpur and their subject over here mewar and their boy and malwa and their three vassals the only nations we can literally fight right at the start are mewat and nagaur and nagaur is gonna ally janpur what are we gonna do man this challenge is already painful and we haven't even started but what do we do as dundar well the objective for today is survive <laughs> just kidding of course if we can survive our primary objective will be to become the most powerful nation in india so we need to gain more dev than vijayanagar the most powerful nation in india in 1444 and as our secondary objective we'll try and form the nation of rajputana an actually really strong nation but first we need to conquer a bunch of provinces around us this is gonna be painful man and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more challenges like this or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything let's jump in as dundar all right all right here we are as dundar these are our adversaries to our north and these are our adversaries to the south this is gonna be so painful man uh what's our force limit it's seven yeah yeah let me start off by doing some estate stuff first though all right all right estate stuff done and would you look at that we can even sell titles in 1433 before seizing land awesome let's take a look at our force limit right it was seven it was seven do we have a horse well let's sell the horse to go away and let's instead of that get three more infantry regiments do we have an heir he kind of sucks we are gonna be getting rid of him maybe uh i don't know let's put him in charge of an army actually we can't he's too young right right let's get a general he's pretty fast uh, all right we need to choose a deity too i think i'm actually gonna go with ganesha here for the diplo rep and improve relations so we can try and get some strong allies do we have a diplo rep guy we hmm, he is a level two guy but i am gonna hire him right at the start here so hopefully we can get a strong ish ally and let's see ah uh, still no one strong is willing to ally us man that sucks that sucks big time uh, can we royal marry some of these guys? Hmm, not Janpur, Bahmani's Vij, Delhi, Mawar, Malwa. I think I'm gonna start improving with Janpur here, man. And I am gonna ally, hmm, maybe Jaisalmer right here. And maybe Jarkand as well. We do have a free merchant too. I'm gonna tell him to, I don't know, collect in Gujarat. It doesn't really matter, does it? And let's get some rivals. Nagaur, Mewar as well. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. Yeah. Let's see what's up, man. I'm scared for this campaign, boys. I am also gonna try scornfully insulting a Janpuri rival like Bengal. They're pretty far away. It won't hurt us. So let's see. Can we roll Mary Janpur now? No, but we're super close. And they have too many diplomatic relations. Of course they do. And as predicted, Naga Ur did ally Janpur. Uh, what about Mewat? They have allied Delhi. Uh, now what? All right, Sirhan just declared on Delhi. Maybe we can take advantage of that and fight Mewat here. Or maybe even Delhi themselves. They're, yeah, this could be done as well. And these guys have allied Janpur as well why why ai why do you want to do this to me all right finally some good news i can royal mary vidge here uh will i be able to ally them i think i will be able to pretty soon hey vidge is sending me an alliance offer all right uh at least we won't get declared on uh i doubt they'll help versus anyone up here i think they'll consider it too far away let me just try and check right here yeah it is too far away well delhi won or sirhin won i can never tell who wins in these wars because sirhin just forms delhi right away but they do still have jangladesh and hmm, they're not allied to Mewat, so I guess Sir Hind won. By the way, these are the provinces that we need to form uh, Rajputana. Yeah. Uh, 
Vajana would actually help me with Mewar, so uh, I think I'm gonna spy on them, yeah. All right, boys, it's been about 10 years, as you can see, almost exactly, in fact. And during this point, I've also allied Sind, and I've been currying favors with Vijayanagar. And now, they are willing to help me out versus Mewar, which is excellent. So I'll call in all of these guys, and this should be pretty easy, as long as I don't get stack wiped right off the bat. And uh, I am gonna try and run away to Sind here and then come back. So uh, yeah, let's declare for this province right here, man. There we go, first war versus an unexpectedly big target, but these are pretty much the weakest guys we can declare on. Now, can I go there? Yes, I can. Okay, let's hope that works. Can I get a mill guy? And I'll just get this uh, reinforced speed guy, I guess. I did ran away successfully and I didn't get stack wiped, but forget about all that. It's time to drink the noble privileges. Well, it looks like my heir here is about to die. Will I lose more stab if he's in charge of an army? All right, he's not in charge of an army. Well, let's just pray for his life. And he's dead. I really don't care. And our first war is done. Honestly, pretty easy. It was more annoying piecing out the allies rather than Mewar themselves. So uh, right now we're gonna have to blob out hard, man. Let's see their most important provinces. Obviously, it's these two right here, the centers of trade. What do they produce? Oh, there's a gold mine in India, dude. No way. I totally forgot about this. We can actually take that. Oh my God, this is gonna bankroll us, man. All right, obviously we're gonna do something like this. Can we even full annex Mewar right here? We can. And with that, we'll receive their vassal, Hadoti, as well. So, uh, let's just replace Mewar, boys. I'm also gonna take all their money, obviously, and, uh, boom. Just like that, Mewar doesn't exist anymore, baby. Arrival wiped out, and these guys are our subject now. They're even loyal right off the bat, which is excellent. All right, super, super good start here. Uh, we'll dev the gold mine once we core it up, and after that, we shouldn't be in that big of a problem. What is a problem, however, is John Poor's alliance to all of these guys over here. So, uh, looks like we we'll, won't be going west that quickly. But yeah, now that I've started coring that, uh, we can also start spawning the renaissance what is the best province to spawn it in i guess it will be our capital after all it does produce copper which is pretty nice so let me activate encourage dev right here i think we'll be able to insta spawn it maybe i should bump it up to a level two center of trade as well let me take a look at my loans indebted to the giants and actually yeah we can upgrade it now that we have the money so uh let me bump it up i don't know twice there we go let's upgrade that it just got even cheaper and uh let's get the deving baby i am gonna dev in all categories i don't think it's gonna be a problem we do have spare admin points and uh yeah yeah, let's save the dip for the gold mine too. Now, Delhi is warning me, but this warning isn't really valid for, I don't know, too many nations. So my ruler just died and we could pick a new deity. I think now I am gonna go with Shiva. And I did also just dev up the Renaissance too, so we can take a loan and embrace it. And now we should be able to sell it to our boys, but no one really has the money. And yeah, boys, now is a period of stabilization. I'm just fighting some rebels right now. I am deving Mewar up to 10 production. It is going slowly. We are getting Diplo points slowly, but there we go. I can bump it up one more time. And uh, yeah, we'll chill for about a year or two more. Then I think I'm probably gonna fight these tiny guys here because uh, they're realistically the only nation we can fight. Yeah, man, this uh, random ruler that we got, you know, his stats are kind of meh, but his traits are super good, man. He's careful, strict, and industrious. Really good traits. Imagine if he had better uh, pips. And uh, yeah, I think we can get a move on. Let's declare on Edar here, huh? Can we co-belligerent their allies? I mean, why not? We'll get two vassals or something. I did forget to say, but of course we don't have any unique missions. And the war is done. What I'll do is annex these guys and then make these other boys my vassal. Perfect, there we go. Now we got two vassals. Awesome. Okay, so I did just Royal Mary John Poor. And I can also ally them in 25 days? There we go. This is the best thing that could happen to us because now we can curry favors with them to make them break an alliance with one of their boys like Gujarat or something, or we can call them into an insignificant war so that they won't defend in our main war or something like that. But awesome, man. Feeling good. I did just get admin tech five and we can get our first idea group here. Uh, what do we go with here, man? What is going to make us stronger? I'm thinking offensive or quantity. We are struggling with manpower right now and we are pretty small and with the gold mine, we will be able to field a bigger army than we actually should be able to so i think i am gonna start off with quantity right here all right boys a couple of years have passed and my alliance with john poor is starting to pay off because i have created 10 favors with them now and we can declare on mewat right here which is allied to delhi but most importantly john poor will help me and we should be easily able to crush both mewat and delhi and i am gonna try and you know dismantle delhi a little bit maybe take some border provinces here so john poor can't expand into them and uh, i think this is where we're really gonna pick things up after getting the gold mine at the start so let's declare on mewat right here take this province call in john poor this should be 
a pretty easy war. I got a mercenary company as well, the Paribas or whatever they're called. And uh, yeah, man, let's get it. All right, so I didn't know their Miltech 6 and I took an L. So what? All right, so taking Delhi's border provinces like this is way too much aggressive expansion. I'm not gonna do that. Let's see if we can take Doab or something. Nah, not really. Let's go for something small for now, man. I'm gonna take these two provinces right here. And most importantly, I'm gonna make them end their alliance with who was right here. That's right, Malwa. And let me get War Reps too and some cash as well. And that's Delhi dealt with for now. At least they won't interfere when I want to fight Malwa here. Now they don't have any strong allies, so they can definitely be our next target. Do I have a spy network on them? I do. I do. That's awesome. So uh, let's go deal with Mewat now. All right, and this war is done too. Obviously, we're going to be full annexing these boys. And that's that, man. All right, things are looking good. Who's Gujarat allied to? John Poor, of course. Of course, I might have to use favors here to make them break their lines. Well, what's this? A looming disaster, you say? Civil war? Hmm, should I actually let the civil war trigger on purpose? I feel like we are kind of big to let rebels siege us down. I mean, uh, you know, the civil war guys. Hmm, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll let it fire. And it's time for a tier three government form. Let's centralize Bur bureaucracy speaking of centralizing bureaucracy uh let me reduce autonomy because i haven't really been doing that there we go thank you game for the wonderful reminder uh let me state up more war and jangladesh as well yeah that seems good for now and uh now i will be declaring on malwa right here and the most important provinces to take are this one and this one right here because those are two provinces that we need to form rajputana and everything else is going to be a bonus so let's declare on malwa right here Janpur will help us out they don't even have any allies which is awesome they only have this uh, one subject right here. Super, super great, man. This is going to be an easy war. Let's get it. And we've wrapped this war up as well, boys. Awesome. Great, great victory versus Malwa right here. Like I said, the most important provinces to take here are this one and this one, Gerd and Ujain. So uh, let's click on those, baby. Of course, I am going to be taking more. We shouldn't have a risk of a coalition here because they are Hindu and we did fight Sunni nations up until now, I think. But yeah, let's not get too bogged down with that. What's some other good provinces we can take? Eh, I really don't care. I really don't. So yeah, let's take something like that. Maybe this one too. Hmm, maybe that would be too much sauce. What about the Iron Province right here? Eh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So let's get some more Eps too and their money as well and say goodbye to Malwa. They're not a problem anymore. Disaster taking once again. It didn't fire earlier. Ah, I don't really care about it anymore. <laughs> I really don't. So Sindh did break their alliance with me just now because uh, I'm rival to Gujarat. But now I can ally Timmy. Yay. Do they have Transoxiana? They don't, which is even better. I won't have to deal with all that. Awesome, man. But yeah, right now I'm uh, waiting to create 50 favors with John Poor so I can make them end their alliance with Gujarat. We already cored up the provinces we took from Malwa. And what else do we need to unite the Rajputs? Well, two provinces from Gujarat, obviously. Two provinces from Janpur, one from Nagore, one from Multan, and one from Delhi. So, uh, yeah, man. Secondary goal going along nicely. And by trying to accomplish our secondary goal, we'll eventually get to our first goal. What's the most developed nation in India, I wonder? Well, I don't know yet. We're at 187 dev. Let's take a look at the ledger. Country, country, development. So, Bengal, Janpur, and Vijayanagar, and Bahmanis are all more powerful than us in India right now. As things stand, we need more than 297 dev, so more than Bahmanis. Of course, they might grow until later, which means we'll need even more. Second idea group time. I feel like we should go with a Diplo, Economic, or Admin to help us out in what we want to do in the future, of course. But uh, we haven't taken Admin in a while, even though I'm not the biggest fan. But hey, why not take advantage of that CCR, man? Maybe Rajputana has that in their ideas, too. Probably not. But yeah, let's go with Admin. Why not? Yeah, right now I'm just helping out Janpur in their wars versus various small guys. And I'm almost able to ask them to break their alliance with uh, Gujarat. I just need to wait for the war to end. The second one they've called me in, by the way. And I have gathered 50 favors with John Poor, so now I can go ahead and ask them to break their alliance with Gujarat. Excellent. All right, we've got that out of the way. I think Vidge will help me out with Gujarat. Let's just see right here. And they would. Excellent. We'll crush them easily. I'm just going to wait a month or two to be able to start annexing Hadoti right here. And there we go. I got more than 190 relations. So let's start that up and call this diplomat back. And now we can declare on Gujarat a great thing here is their ally to Nagaur, and I do need a province from them as well, which is perfect. So let's declare on Gujarat right here, call in Vidge. The most important provinces I want, let me see again, or this one and this one. Is that right? Yep, that is right. So let me set some provinces here as provinces of interest, just like that. And we can go ahead and declare on Gujarat for the conquest of Patan. 
I'm gonna knock out Naga Ur first, and I will make Sind and their alliance with John Poor right here. Uh, why not? We may want to get involved with them later. I'm also gonna get War Apps and some money. Boom, there we go. And we can pull annex Naga Ur as well. Yay, let's get it. And yeah, the super, super easy war, thank you, Vijayanagar, by the way, seems to be done. So let me just check again what's the provinces that I need. Right, right, these two. Now, this may be a lot of AE until we get to this one. Okay, that's 31, actually. That's not bad. What if we go the other way around? I know there's some good provinces over here. Oh my god, a level 3 center of trade. Of course, it is gonna go down to a level 2 once I get it, but should we do something like this maybe how much ae is that you know what i'm willing to risk it for the biscuit baby i'm also gonna humiliate these guys because why not and boom oh my god we just got so much stronger but now we do need to chill for quite a lot because all of these uh what are these western Aryan nations that are also hindu and some of them are sunni i guess well they're angry at us so yeah big chilling time you know i do have an abnormal amount of forts let's get rid of one I'm gonna start annexing my other vassal now as well. You know, these merchants are useless anyway. Uh, what do I do here, man? Is it even worth telling them to establish communities? I mean, it's almost just big nations left, man. And who are the big guys? Vij, Bahmanis, Bengal, Jampur, me, and, you know, a lower tier, you could say, are Sindh and Delhi. And then it's just a bunch of OPMs and stuff like that and subjects. So yeah, man, India getting divided up early, but things are looking good for us, man. But like I said, it is time to chill for now. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys are having fun watching someone play a nation that, that you've literally never heard of, unless you're probably from India, a nation that you've literally never seen a video about or anything else like that. But even though this is A to Z, go ahead, use it as a guide. If you want to play Dundar, form Raj Bhutana, form Bharat later. Uh, yeah, this is all about what A to Z is, man. Uniqueness and, you know, exposing obscure nations that no one's ever heard of. But yeah, right now I'm once again carrying favors with John Poor to make them end their alliance with Multan because Multan does have a province I need as well. The province of, well, Multan itself. I think we only need four more provinces. Yeah, that's right. Doaba, which is owned by Delhi, Multan, and then two in John Poor. Looks like they're gonna be our final boss. But hopefully Hopefully with some uh, good alliances we can take them down. They're not really that powerful. Actually, I have a bigger army than them, so uh, why am I so scared? I'll never know. Just provoking revolts and fighting rebels, don't mind me. Alright, so now that I've dealt with most of my rebels, I think it's time to get a move on and uh, force John Poor here to break their alliance with Multan and... There we go. Boom. Perfect. Multan is allied to Chagatai, which can be annoying, but maybe the Timurids will help me out here. Let's see. Uh, the Timurids actually would help me out. Okay, so we're gonna be good right there. Perfect. Let me get ready for this. I actually don't even have a claim on them, so <laughs> let's spy on Multan first. And all right, all right, we got a claim on Multan, so let's go ahead and declare on them for Cholistan, apparently. Let's call on the Timurids. Vidge wouldn't help out right now. I guess they're busy with something else, but me and Timmy should be able to take care of these guys easily, uh, unless we don't. So uh, let's declare right here. I am gonna go knock out Sind first, actually. Should be easy enough, right? Ooh, it seems that they've gotten back their subjects somehow? Wait, didn't they not have their subjects earlier, or am I stupid or something? Alrighty then, I guess I'm dumb. You guys are gonna have to scroll back in the video and check. I don't know. <laughs> of course, we do have the unique governmental pre-boss register, but uh, we don't really like this, do we? Let's go with, uh, I don't know, meritocratic recruitment? Or actually, I will go with this. Why not? We never take it. And uh, while I'm beating up Sind here, I'm gonna make them end their alliance with Delhi, so I can uh, take a Dwaba later from them easier. They do still have some other strong allies like Bengal, so I definitely won't be able to fight them just by myself. And this war is done too, ladies and gentlemen. It's unfortunate that the Timurids occupied these two provinces, so I can't full annex them myself. But hey, at least we can get the most important province, the only one we actually declare for, their capital of Multan. And that's this war done. All right. So as soon as we core that up, uh, we're still gonna need three more provinces, right? Yeah, Delhi looks like it's next up on the chopping block. I wish Vidge would help me out here, so I might actually wait for them to finish their war with, uh, with the Maldives. <laughs> Dude, they're never gonna end this, man. They can't naval invade. What are these guys thinking? Obviously, judging by this being the third Vijayanagari conquest of the Maldives, yeah, I, I still don't think they're gonna be successful here, man. <laughs> it's not like these guys don't have transports. They, they do. They have transports. <laughs> they have like 13 transports. Finally. Of course they didn't. They didn't win. Of course they didn't. But let's declare on Delhi right here. And our primary goal is this province right here. Of course, I am going to declare a reconquest for a core I got on that province from an event or something. I've had it for a while, actually, I think. Yeah. So, uh... Let's go ahead and do that, baby. Reconquest, call in all the boys right here. But really, I'm only interested for that one province right there. And let's get it. Right. Man, 
with allies like this who actually needs to do the work am i right the timurids have even gobbled up transoxiana looking strong there timmy do you want delhi so you can form the mughals no 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves here and there we go all of their allies have been knocked out by by bengal and let's take these three provinces right here let's not go too overboard actually no let's go overboard ah yes warps uh money too ah i love it feeling strong baby it's only these guys that are mad still but yeah now, after a little bit of chilling, we'll break our alliance with Janpur, try and ally another rival of theirs, maybe someone like Bengal, hopefully Bengal doesn't hate me too much, but they do. Maybe Bahmanis, nope, they hate me too. And uh, yeah, we'll try and deal with Janpur with the help of the Timurids and Vij. This war shouldn't be too far away from either of them. And then we will able to unite the Rajputs. Of course, once we get Admin Tech 10 as well, which is uh, not that close. And I did break my alliance with John Poor. I think I'm gonna have to death for colonialism right here. So, uh, wait, why didn't it pop up? Has it not spawned yet? No, it has spawned. Then why didn't this move? Oh, it did move. <laughs> right, I'm already helping Timmy versus Chagatai. Now, Vidge. Oh, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think they declared on Bahmanis. Or no, who did, who did they declare on? Dude, uh, this isn't gonna work out well for me. I, I can't afford to lose these guys because otherwise I won't be able to be John poor uh yeah let's let's try and survive here okay my armies are fairly strong uh we can do this we can do this I did just dev up colonialism in this province we can't actually embrace it right away that's pretty awesome I thought I would need to spread a bit more thank you I'll select a John poor even though uh we'll fight them later <laughs> Bahmanis are sieging and unsieging super fast they went with offensive uh maybe they have like a siege ability national idea too no I guess not but yeah they're a super strong man they are beating Vijayanagar down in the south luckily I can beat them up up in the north meanwhile chagatai is split between oirat and the timurids they're never gonna peace out all right timmy peaced out nice just peace out man just peace out come on all right finally man jesus but yeah now that this war is done man i am gonna rival john poor so i can break my royal marriage with them without losing stability i can just lose prestige and uh, my truce with them is up actually but uh these guys won't join of course they won't. I can ally Bengal though. So yeah, let me do that. And I'll start currying favors with them. Well, I guess I got some monuments since I can upgrade them. Uh, let's see the monument map mode. All right, I got something in Doaba, which is the Hormandir Sahib. It's actually kind of stupid. <laughs> it really doesn't do anything. What about this other one? The long name fort. And this one's, this one's kind of stupid too. No, it's not really worth it to upgrade any of these. I'll just continue building buildings, which I have been doing so far. And uh, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, so when looking at the war declaration screen here with Janpur, there's no way the Timurids are going to help because of attitude towards enemies, and they have a massive amount of debt. With the Janagor, it's still sort of the same thing. They may pay off their debt. I think they will eventually, but we can't rely on these guys since they already have negative modifiers, whereas Bengal, I think, would help me out as soon as their truce is up and as soon as I get 10 favors with them. Now, Bengal does have debt as well, and and the ruler is malevolent so we might have to wait around here a little bit obviously i can't take them on alone along with their allies sure they're all small guys but they'll swarm me before i can piece them out one by one it is gonna be an annoying war if i have to do it myself so why not do it with the boys meanwhile we're also inching closer to the top spot as the most powerful nation in india now here we are with 359 dev of course no nation in india is above us here but if we go into the ledger we can see that vidge does have about 20 to 30 more dev than us which is gonna be super easy to catch up to man we're gonna do that as soon as we take over the provinces we need from Janpur. and just for a quick reminder these are the two provinces we need so this one right here and this one right here looking good baby dundar i know no one's ever played it but here we are looking pretty good baby all right so bengal seems to be ready to jump in and help with Jampur. let's see right here 51,000 and 11,000 that's 62 and 14,000 that's 76,000 troops versus well less than 76,000 so we should be able to do this right who are Jampur's allies again right right malwa gujarat sand Multan, these guys. I think I'm gonna focus on these guys, try and knock them out, and then go back to Janpur to help out Bengal. Bengal does have 43k troops, while Janpur has 11, so this should be easy, boys. Let's go ahead and declare on them for the conquest of whatever. Maybe this province right here, huh? Because we'll go like that, and then like that. Yeah, seems good. Let's get it. And I'm gonna bomb some annoying forts here. 
And I've also taken Admin Tech 10, which means as soon as we core the stuff up we take from Jeanpour, we will be able to unite the Rajputs. Yes. What do we take for our third idea group? Of course, everyone knows the best idea group that you should take as Dundar, and that's Espionage. And there we go. Jeanpour is at 99%. Okay, let me check the provinces I need once again for this. So it's these two. Now, let's see. What can we do here? Something like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> How developed are these provinces, dude? Jesus. All right, we're gonna have to do that, obviously. And then this. Ah, oh, that's 100 A. All right, still not bad. I got truces with most of these guys. Yeah, let's call it right there, man. Oh, I keep forgetting how expensive some provinces in Northern India can get, man. It's crazy. But now we do have everything we need to unite the Rajputs. We just need to core everything up and put uh, this one in a state. Let's get it, baby. You know what it is. Yeah, a lot of guys are definitely mad here, man. Uh, realistically, only Bahmanis can join a coalition here and uh, Limbu one because I don't have truces with them. With everyone else, I have a truce with. And there we go. We've cored everything up. So let's put this right here in a state. Boom, there we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will be able to accomplish our secondary goal of uniting the Rajputs and forming the nation of Rajputana. Boom, there we go. Yes, please. We will gain new traditions and ambitions. Ah, one of the weirdest map colors in the game. But there we go. We have it. These are our new national ideas. Hey, these guys did have CCR. I was right. We got morale. Plus one military free policy. Plus 5% discipline. Oh, uh, I like those ideas, man. One of the best mill focused national idea sets in the game. Take a look at them, boys. Minus 10% CCR. Plus 15% national manpower. Calf combat and movement speed. Land fire damage. Tolerance of the true fate is pretty good too. Our artillery discounts and legitimacy. Overall, a very nice idea set for Rajputana right here. And we do have unique missions as Rajputana, man. Let's see what happens if we stay stab up here because that one mission does require us to do so and there we go we gained a bunch of claims over here we need to fortify then we get some nice stuff horses calf combat all around a super super nice mission tree i have formed this nation as mewar earlier i think uh for an achievement or something like that just with them but Let's also check the ledger and see which nation in India is the most developed. And of course, it is us at 446 development, ladies and gentlemen. Second behind is Vij and then it's Bahmanis. And with that, we've also accomplished our primary goal. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Dundar in these two provinces right here. Like I said at the start, a nation which no one literally in the history of U4 has ever played. Of course, that's not true, but I feel like it's definitely one of the least popular nations with unique national ideas in U4. And honestly, man, I'm super psyched to have discovered them and to have played them today. Like I said, I hope this series, you know, brings you closer to some obscure and irrelevant nations that you've never heard of. And maybe it inspires you to give them a shot as well but overall we had a super difficult start with delhi and their vassals Jaunpur and their vassals malwa and their vassals and mewar and their vassals surrounding us expansion was definitely super super hard until we could get some stronger allies to help us push through all of these guys right here and of course then we continued conquering to get all the provinces we needed to form rajputana of course becoming the strongest nation in india along the way it was definitely tough we couldn't have done it without strong allies we could have of course but it would have been super super extremely difficult but with the help of our boys right here we did manage to crush our biggest rivals but now we have formed one of the best militarily focused nations in eu4 you could even flip the seek to get even more military national bonuses along with those awesome ideas and an awesome mission tree and you could go on to form the nation of barat of course during all of this point we have been super super rich mainly funded by the gold mine and mewar in the early game as you can see my treasury is full never been further from bankruptcy in the past 20 ish episodes lots of nice buildings built trade buildings production buildings and nice indian trade goods helped us out over there super big army too and we've been able to crush all our rivals in a super super fun campaign as probably the most obscure nation i've ever played in eu4 but Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Dundar in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Dundar in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more E4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video